the triangle sum. The task here for us is to have students measure the three angles of a, a number of different triangles, some acute, some obtuse, some right. Uh, you have, want to have enough different triangles at each group of students so that you've got a variety of triangles. They'll take their protractors and measure the three angles, uh, get their sums, and then take a look and see if there's some results, okay? So for example, let's take um, a triangle and take our protractor and we're going to measure the first angle and this one is approximately 74 degrees. Okay. This next one is 49 degrees. This one is approximately 57 degrees. All right. And getting the sum, lo and behold, 180 degrees. Okay. If we were to do that for another triangle, uh, and each student is doing this, hopefully we will not always get 180, but somewhere in that neighborhood of 180 degrees, and then the students should be ready to, to make their conjecture. All right. Another approach is to take a triangle and cut out the triangle, and then tear off the three angles and see how close we come to that same conjecture. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so I've labeled the three interior angles of the triangle. Now I'm gonna tear them off, and we're gonna see what they add up to. Okay. Angle B and angle C. All right. To help us, I'm going to start with a number line, or it's just a line, excuse me, and a point, and I'm going to assemble those angles about the point. Okay. I could put a stripe of glue stick across my paper to keep things from floating around. So I will take. And assemble angle A, take angle B, place it at that point to demonstrate the sum of those two, and then take the third one and add it in, and we get our conjecture. So the sum of the three angles of a triangle, either by protractor method, or by cutting and uh, tearing and uh, cutting and reassembling, we are able to make a conjecture, okay? There is a third method as well with patty papers, and let's take a look at that. So far we've uh, found the sum of the measures of the three angles of a triangle by using a protractor method, making a, a number of different triangles, finding with the protractor the measures of the angles, adding them up, and taking a look at the results. Then we did it uh, by making triangles, cutting them out, and assembling the three angles to get our conjecture. Now a third method is to take a patty paper and put a triangle on there, label the three interior angles. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is transfer that onto uh, another piece of paper, okay? Well, we can do that, by well, we could grab a patty paper, lay it on top, okay? So you can see that I'm going to copy angle A, and just doing it freehand is certainly good enough. Trying to get your students to line up the ruler with two patty papers and tracing is just not worth the effort, and uh, it's much faster this way. So we've got angle A, and now we're going to add angle B to it, and copy angle B, and it's labeled, and then we move to angle C, we do it again, we want to show the sum of the three angles, so we copy C, and it's labeled, and in seconds, 
for getting our conjecture. Okay. The sum of the measures of the three angles of any triangle is our conjecture. All right. And that is three different ways of arriving at our conjecture for the triangle sum.